What is up guys? Welcome back to my shop here in Oklahoma. I am Josh and today I don't have a specific project, a wood project that I'm working on, but I am working on a shop maintenance project and that is cleaning up my uh, old rusty been through the ringer chop saw. So this video is being sponsored by Line 10 Tools and Bowshield T9. Uh, Line 10 has sent me some wire brushes as well as some non-woven abrasive drill buffing attachments. So that along with the WD-40 is gonna help me kind of buff out and get the metal back to um, its to a good shine and and uh, and clean it up a little bit and then finally i have uh, these products from bow shield um, they've got a rust and corrosion uh, remover protector and then they've got a bit cleaner um, that i'm going to uh, work on my my blade with so hopefully when this is all said and done the saw won't necessarily look new but it'll look extremely presentable it'll be uh, mostly rust free and be able to last for a little while longer so that's all i'm going for with this i have used these products um, on some other things and they worked really well so i'm excited to show you guys um, how they work on this so let's get to it so the first thing i'm working on is um, this zero clearance insert. I don't want to do anything with it. I might just put a new coat of Danish oil or something on it, but I'm basically going to take it out to clean everything else. And just like that. There we go. You can see down in here there's some sawdust, there's also some some rusty parts, some patches, and it's just, it just needs a little bit of help. All this is pretty rough here. It's kind of been mistreated a little bit over, over the years, so we'll clean it up. Just, we'll let this sit for about 15 minutes. And while I am letting it sit, I'm going to uh, take off the blade. This used to be the guard plate, the holder for the guard plate. There we go. Comes off just like. We'll wait for it. Just like that. So it's not too bad of a blade still. It, uh, it does need to be cleaned up, but it's still pretty sharp. So I'm just gonna clean the grime off of it. So I'm gonna be using this Bow Shield blade in bit. It's a resin, gum, and pitch remover. You just spray it on the outer rims where the blade is. Flip it over to the same side. Let it sit for about a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and then you wipe it off. I typically use like a scotch bright pad and that seems to work pretty well. So, there we go. It says to wet it pretty well. So you give it a nice liberal coating. You can see it's been working, I don't know, for about a minute or two so far. So I'm just gonna see kind of what it looks like if I start kind of rubbing some of this stuff off. So, I mean, you can see almost immediately some of that tar and all that junk is starting to, starting to come off. Not all of it, but I mean, it's enough to make a pretty big, pretty big difference, I think. So I'll flip it over. Oh yeah, 
I mean, just look at that difference already. This part right here is a clean part. Over here is where all that gummy stuff is. And uh, yeah, pretty big difference. So this side looks like it could use another round of it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, but otherwise, that side looks pretty good. Everything else seems to be biting pretty well. So the last thing I'm gonna do to this blade, um, that's about as much as I'm gonna do. Um, it actually looks way better. I mean, that had a lot of that gummy stuff all over the place when we first started. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to dash a little bit of this rust free on it. The directions say just to apply a little bit and then uh, wipe off. So I'm just help get any residual rust that, that might be on there. Just a tad bit. And I'll take a different clean t-shirt and a little wipe. All right, so let that sit for a little while and we'll go get started on the actual saw. The first thing I'm gonna do with these Line 10 products, um, these are pretty cool. So they, they just, they're, they're drill bits. They just have all sorts of various wire brush drill attachments. So they're all a little bit harder, a little bit softer, depending on kind of what you need, depending on what you're working on. So I think what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try first, is this skinny little guy in here. So this guy is not too hard. Um, it's it's got some good. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, a little bit narrower, so I can kind of fit in a little bit everywhere on the on the saw. So hopefully this will be able to get most of what I need, most of that rust gone. So I'm not exactly sure how. This is going to affect the metal, um, but we'll give it a go. Uh, overall, I'm not even going that fast with this, and uh, that rust is coming off pretty well. You can just see, even from this shot right here, how much that rust is just kind of blowing away. Coming off. So let's try a different one that's a little bit flatter. Let's see what kind of results we can get from that. So I'm gonna try, it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, flatter, a little bit wider, uh, a little bit shorter though, so it might have a little bit more more bite to it. Well, I'd say it's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, all that rust came off pretty, pretty easily. I mean, the wire brushes are wire brushes, so they're, they're gonna leave some wire marks, that's, that's for sure, but I'm hoping that's what the pads are there to kind of help, help buff those out. One thing I am trying to get is this buddy clean. This is where sawdust goes. And it's pretty rusty, it's pretty dirty, and my goal 
is simply to clean it off. And as you can see, I have accomplished my goal pretty well with that. This little guy right here, this is my last uh, major task. It's just pretty gritty and grimy and yucky. Oh yeah, that is so much smoother. Like, not even close. So the last thing I'm gonna do to this saw is uh, use these buffing pads that I've talked about. Um, you can kinda see, they're just drill attachments as well. And let me show you some of these guys they got in here. They're basically, I mean, just what they say, they're buffing pads. They can use polishing compound, you can use WD-40, you can do them by yourself. Just all sorts of sizes and shapes. They got square, they got round, they got a little trapezoid. Um, so whatever uh, works for your project, whatever you need. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray some of this rust free onto the saw and then I will take probably one of these smaller square, um, circle, square, well, it's a circle, but you know, this, this pattern right here, that is a square, um, kind of going like that. If you can see what I'm talking about. I might go back over it with something like this, this round one that I can just kind of go over the top with, uh, but we'll see. Here we go. wiping away all that there's a little film but as I am wiping it away it is becoming pretty clear there are some defamations some abrasions in the wood not wood in the metal <laughs> I'm so used to working with wood but you can tell a huge difference before and after buffing. Although this is shinier, this is much more uniform. It's got all those wire marks taken out of it. And it's a little bit duller. I actually kind of like that uh, for a saw. I like it because it'll provide me a good surface to put some paste wax on. So I will keep it like that, maybe do a little bit more buffing on it, and we will finish her out. There we go. All right, well, there she is. Clean blade, clean deck. Rust is gone and she looks nice. I'm gonna put a little bit of paste wax on and that'll be it. 
So the paste wax will likely take away some of the shine on it. So I just wanted to kind of give you a little glimpse of it before it goes out. But look how shiny and nice that looks. No more rust. She looks good. Well, there you go, my friends. One miter saw de-rustified, mostly, on the bed. So if you guys have not checked out or heard of or tried or whatever Line 10 and Bowshield T9, um, I will link their websites in the description and you can go check them out and buy some of their stuff because they make some pretty cool uh, products and I am very happy with them. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. If you like this stuff, be sure to hit that like and subscribe and I would love to have you along for the journey. I've got a couple more projects that I'm working on currently, including a big restoration of an oak cabinet. It's as soon as the weather uh, starts to cooperate with my finishing, I will be getting that done. Um, but until then, um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later, because these gloves are nasty. See you guys.